Before we proceed further, request you to please subscribe to our channel as shown above. Hello friends, welcome to Kamath Astrology. In today's video, we are going to speak about a total lunar eclipse which is going to occur on 16th May 2022. Now, we had a solar eclipse on 1st May 2022 and exactly after 15 days, we are now having the lunar eclipse on 16th May 2022. So in this video, let us try and understand the deeper meaning of the total lunar eclipse, its impact on the world and India and in which parts of the world this eclipse will be visible and what exactly lies ahead for us. So now this is the chart as on 16th May 2022 at 7.02 am. The eclipse starts at 7.02 am IST and it lasts till 12.20 pm IST. However, the eclipse is not visible in India. It is visible in parts of North America, South America, Antarctica, Europe, Middle East. So because in India this eclipse occurs during the daytime, it is not visible and therefore Sutak and other rituals associated with the eclipse will not be applicable in India. Now in which zodiac sign is this eclipse occurring? You can see the eclipse is occurring in the zodiac sign of Libra as well as Scorpio. The moon is in the Vishaka Nakshatra, third pada, which lies in the sign of Libra or Tula when the eclipse starts at 7.02 am. And then the moon moves to the last pada of the Vishaka Nakshatra, which lies in the sign of Scorpio or Vrishik. So, when the eclipse occurs, the moon is moving from the natural 7th house in the zodiac to the natural 8th house. And when the eclipse starts, the moon is closely conjunct with Ketu. The separation between moon and Ketu is just 3 degrees. Now, what is Vishaka Nakshatra? Vishaka Nakshatra is represented by a forked branch which represents two paths. So when your moon is in Vishaka Nakshatra with Ketu, it generally indicates that you are a saint in the previous life, but you made some mistake and therefore you are reborn to overcome that mistake. So all the people who have the moon in the Vishaka Nakshatra third pada understand that at this point you will be presented with two choices and you have to select the right choice from those two choices. Now what is the moon? The moon is our mind, the moon is our emotions, the moon also represents water bodies, the moon is the significator of mother. So the moon is very important and when Ketu is associated with the moon, it obviously indicates certain anxieties, certain fears that will come up during the time of this eclipse. Also, as the eclipse progresses, the moon moves from the sign of Taurus into the sign of Scorpio. And the sign of Scorpio is the natural 8th house in the zodiac belt. So again, this represents anxieties, fears, trauma, sudden events. Which means that this eclipse can bring sudden events, it can bring traumas, it can also bring a lot of anxieties in our life. So definitely because this eclipse is occurring in the 7th and the 8th house of the zodiac belt, it is going to bring about certain fears, certain anxieties or certain sudden traumatic events in the lives of many people. So it is a time when you should avoid taking major decisions. Hold on for a few days. Do not take important decisions at this time. Now one more interesting thing which I saw is that Mars who is currently in the sign of Aquarius 
विल मूव इन टू द साइन ऑफ पाइसिस ऑन सेवेंटींथ मे टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एंड वेन इट मूव्स इन टू द साइन ऑफ पाइसिस इट इज गोइंग टू पुट इट्स एट्थ एस्पेक्ट ऑन केतु हु लाइज इन द साइन ऑफ लिब्रा और तुला नाउ मार्स इज एट्थ एस्पेक्ट ऑन केतु इज डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू ब्रिंग अबाउट अ मेजर इवेंट सम काइंड ऑफ मेजर एक्सीडेंट इन द वर्ल्ड सम काइंड ऑफ शेकी इवेंट सो फॉर द नेक्स्ट फिफ्टीन डेज डेफिनेटली आई सी सम काइंड ऑफ मेजर इवेंट ऑकरिंग विच विल स्टर अप इमोशंस विच विल स्टर अप एंगजाइटीज एंड विच कैन डिस्टर्ब अज मेंटली नाउ द साइन ऑफ पाइसिस where mars is moving is a watery sign you already have jupiter venus and neptune present there and therefore this can trigger floods this can trigger storms some incidents on waters on the oceans some war like incident on the oceans can also happen because mars is the karaka for war and both jupiter venus and neptune in pisces represents floods and storms now mars is putting the eighth aspect on ketu and ketu is an indicator of losses at the same time on 16th may moon is transiting from the 7th house into the 8th house so definitely it points to some untoward incident occurring in the world i am very much concerned about india in particular why is this so because in india's horoscope we have the taurus ascendant and moon rules the third house which represents india's borders and india's neighboring countries and the moon is undergoing the eclipse and moving from libra into scorpio now even in india's natal chart jupiter is present in the sign of tula or libra which is the sixth house and jupiter deals with religious teachings divine teachings communal harmony so this eclipse can trigger a lot of communal events across india events that are triggered due to religious disputes and that is what this eclipse clearly points so after 16th may india may see a tough time there could be religious disputes there could be riots in certain places this is what i clearly foresee as a result of two things mars putting its eighth aspect on ketu and the lunar eclipse being triggered just a day before and that too it being a total lunar eclipse now this eclipse is not visible in india definitely it is going to show some impact rahu is also present in the 12th house for india that is rahu is present in the sign of aries or mesh which is the 12th house which indicates that communal tensions and troubles can be fueled due to certain foreign elements rahu represents foreign culture aries is a new beginning and therefore the time after 16th may till the next 15 days at least is a very tense period and we in india especially in the western regions such as maharashtra gujarat rajasthan and the northern regions such as delhi punjab haryana need to be very careful in this time period as far as possible try avoiding travel over ships over boats over the seas in this time period because this is a total lunar eclipse and immediately a day after that mars is aspecting ketu mars is also moving into the sign of pisces with jupiter venus and neptune which indicates a possibility of floods tornadoes and storms now what are the remedies when an eclipse occurs especially when it is a lunar eclipse the moon is in extreme trouble which means our mind is disturbed in this time period so we should not take major decisions in this time period next thing is the moon is associated with liquids such as water and milk and during the time of eclipse the negative energy 
creeps into the water and milk so try and avoid drinking water and milk for this duration of 5 hours that is from 7:02 am till 12:20 pm on 16th may 2022 the best thing you can do is place tulsi leaves in the milk and the water and once the eclipse time is over you can remove those tulsi leaves and then drink that milk and water also chanting mantras of the moon such as om som somaya namaha or the vedic mantra of the moon dadi shanka tusharabham shiro darnav sambhavam namami shashinam somam shambhor mukut bhushanam will help you in a big way to calm your mind and to gain benefits from this eclipse once the eclipse is over or just before the eclipse starts you can do food donations to the poor people worshiping lord shiva in this time period simply chanting om namah shivaya 108 times will give you a lot of peace of mind ketu with the moon is also a pointer towards spirituality ketu is also our intuition ketu is what we have achieved in our past life and therefore ketu represents a meditative aspect so in this time trying to control the mind meditating on the supreme energy is the best thing to do and the eclipse is hardly for 5 hours so definitely we can do some of these simple remedies chanting the holy mantras such as the gayatri mantra or the vishnu sahasranam will also give you a lot of protection in this time period in this time period we can expect some major events either in the neighboring countries of india or some kind of border clashes for india because the moon represents india's borders the moon represents india's neighboring countries and definitely when this lunar eclipse is triggered such events can occur on india's borders as well as in india's neighboring countries so you will find some kind of disturbing events that may happen when this eclipse gets triggered now the effect of this eclipse will last for at least one month we already had a solar eclipse 15 days before and its effect is also active right now so definitely this eclipse is going to trigger certain accidents certain incidents certain conflicts which can disturb the mind and the best way to control the mind in this time period is to stay calm and worship god during this time period mercury is also retrograde and combust in the sign of taurus or vrushap which means that we also need to be very careful while communicating with the elderly people because we might say something and hurt them unknowingly so friends this is the time to control our mind to control our tongue and to avoid important decisions so as you can see in the figure when the lunar eclipse occurs the earth comes between the sun and the moon and it blocks the sun's light from falling on the moon so it means that the light does not reach the moon which means that proper decisions cannot be taken by the mind in this time period and symbolically the lunar eclipse therefore is associated with mental tensions mental trauma however if you focus your mind on god if you do meditation in this time period then the negative effects of this eclipse are greatly reduced and that is what you should try to do in this time period so friends i hope you liked this video if you liked it please mark it as liked on youtube if you have not subscribed to our channel you can do so by clicking the subscribe button now my contact details are available on this slide 
टू नो मोर अबाउट अस विजिट अवर वेबसाइट एस्टोसेवा डॉट ट्राईपॉड डॉट कॉम फॉर एनी क्वेरीज एनी कन्सल्टेशन्स प्लीज फील फ्री टू राईट टू अस ॲट एस्टोसेवा वर्ल्ड ॲट याहू डॉट कॉम अँड वी विल बी ग्लॅड टू असिस्ट यू सो फ्रेंड्स थँक्स अ लॉट टेक केअर बाय अँड स्टे सेफ